Um, it seems to me that you are slightly from a different game. It's guys from the amazing Digital Circus. He is also looks like a diggy dag. Stephen Jax is here. Looks like he's trying to escape from those bars. And here comes the final boss of Cyber Deeg, Dago. It looks like we've reached Mom's bedroom. If you like and subscribe to the channel now, I will show you what she does there. Come on, guys. About three, two, one. Bluey, get out of here now. I changed my clothes here. <laughs> Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will escape from prison Dago Dago. Seriously? This giant pot-bellied nugget in a cowboy hat is called Deeg Dago? I think this is the strangest name for a nugget. Didn't it bother you at all that this is actually a real nugget who is alive and wears a cowboy hat? It looks pretty stupid, but I was told that there are a lot of interesting obstacles in this map. Um, it seems to me that you are slightly from a different game. It was very strange to see a female cop from a women's prison here. Let's now meet the first real boss. Here comes Diego Dago. I hope they didn't add a lot of speed to him and he won't be able to catch up with us now. Everything here looks very funny and all the walls are yellow. It feels like we're in a package of cheese sauce. I think nuggets and cheese sauce are the best combination in the world. By the way, we got to the second floor and escaped from Daga Dago. Now let's run through these pipes and get some ventilation. I'm very interested to see what new things have been added to the toilet room. Fortunately, the walls here are white, just like in a regular toilet. Just look, it's guys from the amazing Digital Circus. But it seems to me that someone is missing here. It's Kane, to be honest. I would be very upset if I were him because they even put Barry in there. But they forgot about our friend Kane. By the way, we now find ourselves in a huge dungeon made in the style of the sea. Guys, is it just me, or have you completely forgotten about Bubble? Actually, that toilet was also missing him. They didn't even add him here, although I think he is very close to the marine theme. Don't worry about it, because I think that every Bubble in this game is him. Even here, where huge waterfalls fall, there are a lot of Bubbles below. I believe that all the Bubbles are a model of Bubble from the amazing Digital Circus. Yes! I think these were the most correct words so that the bubble would stop being offended. By the way, this design of the corridor with a large rolling boulder is very unique. I've never seen anything like this. And what will we see now? Oh, it's a boss knight. He is also looks like a diggy dago. It's so strange that he wears a hat instead of knight helmet. Did you notice that it was a knife in his shoulder? I am so interested that who left that knife in him. Yes, and I think that Kane left this knife in it because he decided not to add him to this game. I still think this is very unfair. There are sharks here. Oh no, this boss has turned on us again. Well, let's just go up these steps. The main thing is that we were able to escape from this Mr. Daga Dago. Steven Jax is here. Looks like he's trying to escape from those bars. But I still think it's really unfair that they didn't add Kane to the installation. By the way, it is even here, but Kane's still nowhere to be found. It looks like the creators of this map really love Pomni. They even added it here. But it seems to me that we haven't even completed half of the game yet, and Kane can appear anywhere. There on the right side, there is again a huge installation of circus. Let's see, maybe Kane will be there. But no, this time he wasn't there either. Well, let's keep running this energy drink race. I hope we finally find something similar to Kane in this map. We managed to pass this level with ease, great. Now let's climb up these stairs and see what awaits us ahead. Now we have a test ahead of us in which we need to put the stairs under the ventilation. Let's quickly open this room, take this ladder, and put it in place. I saw a few more of Digital Circus characters in this location. Here are Pomni, Jax, Ragatha, and Kingler. Great. Oh, just look. Behind these bars are the sharks that ate Barry. He deserves it. I'm actually still a little confused. Why didn't the author add Kane anywhere? Even in this ventilation, there is absolutely everything and even Barry. But Kane not on it. I don't understand why he doesn't love Kane so much. Don't worry, buddy. I hope that sooner or later we will see him here anyway. In the meantime, let's jump through these pipes and go up to start testing with valves. In general, 
Don't you think it's strange that digital circus characters are in this prison? Because this is a Dagadago prison? I don't understand at all why the creators of this map did everything in a marine style. How can a chicken nugget and the sea be connected? Maybe, in fact, it's not a chicken nugget, but a fish nugget. And that's why everything here is done in this style. But I think this is a pretty stupid theory. It seems to me that you are already really starting to talk about some kind of nonsense. Well, Bluey turned all the valves, and now we will run through this ventilation straight to the next ventilation. I really hope that we will pass this map as soon as possible and still meet Kane here. What about Bubble Guys? I remind you that he is also nowhere here. Wow. We reached the fan race, and here, in addition to digital circus characters, there are also sharks. Oh my god. It looks very cool. They blocked our path which is why the passage of this location became even more hardcore. I really liked what we saw. Here and now, let's climb these stairs and take a jump in the wind tunnel. And here again, circus characters, but there is no bubble or cane. It seems to me that the creators of this map really need to work on adding them here. By the way, here is the cafeteria location, but there is no boss Daga Dago here. Here, instead of him, is the usual boss cook. Well, let's kill as soon as possible. Well, here comes the bazooka. Let's take it and shoot this boss chef. Bluey, the main thing is not to forget that hitting the head does the most damage. This is the best way to kill him as soon as possible. Great, we killed him. By the way, I think they only left the boss chef here because this boss chef actually cooked this nugget that became the evil boss Diga Dago. Wow. There are a lot of circus characters here. And again, there is two of characters missing here. Only two challenges left. To be honest, it seems to me less and less that Kane can appear in this game because the creator of this map disliked him for something. So let's just finally go through the location and meet the final boss. I'm very interested in what it will look like. And here is the last test before meeting the final boss, Bluey. I hope you remember our life hack. It seems to me that it makes much more sense to use just one board. This life hack was suggested to us by our subscribers in the comments. You don't have to take all the boards from above, but just take just one and drag it behind you. And here comes the final boss of Cyberdeed, Dago. He has very strange legs. It seems to me that other robots look slightly different. He waves his name so funny. It's probably because he's a nugget and he's not used to using his legs at all. All that's left is to shoot the second hand for it to explode. We finally defeated him. In fact, this boss was quite difficult because he was running after us. Oh, just look at this funny face of Pumney. She always makes weird faces. We completed this game in 500 seconds, but unfortunately, we didn't see either Kane or the bubble in this game. So let's move on to the next game. Looks like this poor guy had some bad luck during his jump. Wait, is it just me, or does our character grow a little when we eat these cookies? I don't think we can fit through that doorway a bit. Oh, just look at this face. It looks very goofy. I think it would be a great idea to push her down those stairs and into the basement. How did these grannies even end up at the top of the fence if they can't even climb the stairs? Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will run away from the house of a very grumpy granny. Well, let's begin our escape. We found ourselves in some room, and our first task was to find grandma's cookies. Well, I think we definitely need to look for a kitchen in this house. If this granny is so angry, then the cookies may even end up in the basement. But we already found them in the kitchen. Oh, no. This is the same granny. We need to run into that room from where she ran out after us. Look! She has a key to the attic on the wall. Let's grab him and quickly go to the attic to escape through it. Great! We have the key. Well, now the main thing is that this granny doesn't catch up with us. I'm very interested in how she will climb those stairs. Oh, is she seriously using a lift? It will be very strange if she manages to catch up with us. Don't worry, Dad. I can definitely escape from this granny. Great. She didn't follow us into this attic because she doesn't know how to use the steps. Now, we need to overcome all the obstacles that are located in this attic and finally escape from this scary house. 
It's quite strange that in her attic there are various obstacles like spikes or... Wait, what? Traps? Seriously, I think she placed them to catch some very giant rats here. Barbed wire? Is there some kind of military exercise going on in her attic? It looks very strange, but we finally got out into the yard. Wait, can't we escape through the fence? Oh, no. Granny got out into the yard and is running after us. There's some kind of grave here. Let's quickly jump into it. Looks like this poor guy had some bad luck during his jump. Well, it's good that we were luckier, and now we need to explore these catacombs. Where does Grandma even have such huge underground tunnels under her yard? This still remains a mystery to me. And now we will climb these stairs. There is an elevator here. This is very good. We need to press this button and we will go straight to the top. I hope this sends us straight to the exit. I think this will definitely not be our last test because then this game will become too short. It seems to me that we still have a huge number of tests ahead that Grandma has prepared for us. This spiral staircase is so huge! I'm surprised how this granny even thought of building such a long staircase. After all, she has huge problems using them. Well, now we'll go into some new room. But before that, we need to jump over the last spike pit. Great! Wait, why did everything get so dark? Oh no! Some zombie is coming for us. Maybe these are the ghosts of children who were previously caught by the angry granny, and now they are hunting for us? Lord. We definitely need to find a way out of here as soon as possible. And here is the way out. I'm sorry, children, that we couldn't save you. We would really like this. We climbed out through the well. This means that it was the angry granny who threw all the children into this well, and they died there. Wow, this is the creepiest story I've ever heard in a Roblox game. We need to escape from this granny again. She is too active for such an old woman. It's very strange that she always manages to find us. She really stopped running after us. But no, she thinks she can still catch up with us. But unfortunately, granny, there are stairs here. You definitely won't be able to get down them. And now let's explore another basement of her house. It seems to me that the area of the underground premises under her house is much larger than the area of her own house. Seriously? Does she even have a huge track here for riding these grandma's motorcycles? It seems to me that she has quite an interesting life in this house if she arranges for herself entertainment like this. Actually, it's very strange that this racetrack is located here. I wonder if grandma was able to complete this route at least once. I don't think she looks like a speed freak. But I'm sure that we can do it because we really love high speed. But in this test, speed is not important because it was very dangerous to drive there. However, we were able to easily complete this task. And now we are going to the next room. I wonder what awaits us there. So let's take a look. Oh my god, it's a giant green ball of thread. Does this granny have some kind of thread factory here? Or why are these balls so huge? I was very scared when I saw this ball because I thought that it would knock us down and this would be our first death in this playthrough, but we were very lucky and managed to avoid it. Let's finally leave this house and see what awaits us in the backyard. This location is similar to the place where we will fight the final boss. Wait, why is this motorcycle with an invisible rider riding here? Maybe he wants to become our friend? I think he is unlikely to be able to help us resist the final boss. So let's take this gun and start fighting against him. Here there are a lot of different grannies who jump off the fence and run in our direction. We need to shoot them back with this cookie gun. How did these grannies even end up at the top of the fence if they can't even climb the stairs? It seems to me that you forgot that this is Roblox and that there is no logic in it. But in fact, I can say that these grannies are moving towards us quite slowly. And you defeated them very quickly, Bluey. Well done. You did it in just 330 seconds. Now let's go up to the top of this house and see what awaits us here. And here are the cookies that we stole from this granny. Let's eat them. Oh, just look at this face. It looks very goofy. Wait, is it just me? Or does our character grow a little when we eat these cookies? I wonder how big we can grow. Oh yeah, I think this size suits us very well. Now I think we can go back to this grandma and beat her up. Um, I don't think we can fit through that doorway a bit. Well, let's turn into a cop, take a motorcycle, and go straight to this granny. I found her. 
She's still sleeping and doesn't notice our presence here. I think it would be a great idea to push her down those stairs and into the basement. Apparently, when she sleeps, she stands very strong and she cannot fall down those stairs. Well, I think it will be enough to lock her in this basement so that she will never be able to get out of here and catch children again. Wait, is that the same giant boss again? Fire! Oh, it seems to me that the projectile didn't fly out very effectively. Okay, what is she doing here? Oh, I think someone ate a gas station burrito. Come on, buddy. Knock that key out of her. Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will escape from a women's prison. Women's prison? Sounds pretty weird. Just look. They have assigned a reward of one million Robux for us. Well, let's eat this cake. There was a spoon in this cake. Let's use it to dig a tunnel and escape from this prison cell. Great, we managed to do it. Now we will go through this very difficult obby. Is this girl a cop? Just look, she's watching us. Well, I think she looks pretty creepy and we need to quickly escape from this prison in order not to meet her again. It seems to me that we will definitely meet her again because she is one of the bosses in this game. In general, it seems quite strange to me that this is another prison with lava. Why is lava in prison anyway? This cop girl is looking at our photos! You'll never catch us! Oh, I think we've fallen down. And now we need to escape from this cop girl. This is the first boss. I think we can handle him quite easily. We need to run through these pipes and press the red button so that we have the opportunity to escape from this room through the ventilation. Well, this is a pretty easy task. And Bluey, as always, manages to do it on the first try. Well, here we are. We need to go through this room without touching the red circles. I think she can handle this building very easily, too. These red circles move very quickly and unpredictably. Okay, what is she doing here? It looks pretty weird. I think she's a little slack from work. We need to put this chair up. Oh my god, it's stuck in the textures. But I think that this will not stop us from passing this level. Bluey, you constantly amaze me with your skill. Let's try to pass this level using just one board. We will do it really like professionals. Cool. I think we can now officially speed run this game. Toilet stalls? This reminds me of something. Let's open the third one. Oh, I think someone ate a gas station burrito. Otherwise, I can't explain how so much of this came out of this. Now I need to go through Obby, in which there is acid on the floor instead of lava. It seems to me that the imagination of these developers is very strange. We again came across a game in which the developers love lava and acid. Guys, come up with some other liquid that players will be afraid of. There's a female cop stuck in a pipe, but let's not pay attention to her. Let's just continue our walkthrough of this game. We cope with all tasks quite quickly and accurately. We need to release the prisoners here so they can beat her. Let's go ahead, our faithful friends. Kill this cop so we can get the key she keeps in her pocket. All that remains is to free the last prisoner and the key will be ours. Come on, buddy, knock that key out of her. Great. Our prisoner friends helped us. And now we can take this key, open the next door, and move on. We're actually getting through it all pretty quickly. Wait, what? Is this a train? In prison? But what is he doing here? Okay, I forget that this is Roblox and there is no logic in it. We arrived at the stop of this train and let's go through this door. Oh my god. Is that a cop in a car? Wait, why is she driving a car around the room? Is she that lazy? Well, this didn't play into her hands. And thanks to the fact that she only moves by car, we were able to easily escape from her. And we're back in the race with the fans. Why is everyone so fond of copying missions from Barry's prison escape? This task is pretty cool, but I don't like the way it's implemented in this game because we move quite slowly. At least it's slower than what we saw in Barry's prison break. I hope the next task will not be copied from our favorite game. Wait, what? We ended up in the kitchen and there is also a bazooka with food. We need to shoot this boss. Wait, is she growing in size? Wow, that's what makes this game different. Cool, there is also a key that drops here after the death of this boss. 
Let's use this key to open this green door and find ourselves in the next room. I'm very interested in what challenge awaits us next. Wow! This is a car ride on a huge track. I think that I will pass this task with ease because I really love tasks with cars. This car jumps pretty weird. Why are her wheels moving in different directions? It's starting to look like some kind of Japanese GDM car. In general, it would be cool if they changed the model of this car a little and added something like a Chevrolet Camaro or other cool fast cars. Bingo! It seems to me that you slightly forgot that we are not playing Gran Turismo, but Roblox Prison Escape. Now we have finished this race, and now we need to jump on these trampolines over the abyss. Let's quickly come forward and find out what will happen when we go down into this green tunnel. Oh no! It's another boss, and this time it's a robot boss. We need to figure out how we can defeat her. Don't worry, Mom! I have already found a way to defeat her! I need to short-circuit her and then take her head and put it on this stand! Everything turned out to be as simple as shelling pears. I see vending ahead. Is there really an energy drink race waiting for us here, too? Wait, it seems to me that our speed is quite low. But nevertheless, it is much faster than the speed we had before. We move very fast. I love it. I didn't think there would be a task like this here. We've reached the end of this quest. Oh my god, this is a huge female cop giant. We need to shoot him with this gun. To do this, we need to find a shell for it somewhere. Well, let's get on with it now. I think in order to find him, we need to climb into this ventilation. This shell must definitely be here somewhere. And here he is. Excellent. We took it. Now let's shoot this huge boss. Fire. Oh, it seems to me that the projectile didn't fly out very effectively. Well, in any case, we defeated this boss and let's go with you to the next room. This game is very long. There are a lot of different challenges in it. I really like the fact that this game is really non-trivial, like some other prison breaks. There are really a lot of different cool tasks here that we haven't seen before. Well, now let's press the second button and move on. Oh, just look! There are two choices here. I think we should choose the girl's side because it's a prison for girls. It seems to me that we made the right choice, and now we find ourselves in the room where little cop girls are raised. Well, now we need to find a way out of this room. Let's find him quickly. There's some kind of button hidden there. Let's click on it. Great, we clicked on it. Our next location has opened. Well, this game is really quite long because we have been going through it for a very long time, and it seems to me as if it is really endless. I think we definitely won't be able to set a world record in this game because we got stuck in unexpected places several times. But now we will find ourselves in some kind of gym. Oh no, there's a huge boss girl here and she's running right after us. It's good that we were able to run away from her. Oh no, who is this? Wait, is that the same giant boss again? Oh no, she broke our elevator and we fell. It's good that we survived. Let's now dig a hole with this spoon and see where it leads us. He led us to the final boss. Here she comes. Well, let's fight her. Wait, what? Have we really turned into a giant robot cop and are now going to have a sword fight against her? This is very cool. It's very difficult to fight against her because because of the bug, I can't fight against her in first person and I have to move the camera away and click on her with the mouse. It's quite difficult, but I think I can handle it. Great Bluey! You were able to defeat her! You dealt with it very quickly! Now let's get into this blue helicopter and fly away to the next game! Oh no! He caught us again! His teeth look like he doesn't know what a toothbrush is. This is some kind of anglerfish jaw with scary teeth that is running after us. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will run away from this evil, scary dentist. Is this guy really a dentist? His teeth look like he doesn't know what a toothbrush is. Looks like this guy really wants to pull our teeth out. We urgently need to escape from him. He was about to leave this room. This means that we will have the opportunity to escape from here. Well, let's wait for the moment when he leaves here and immediately run away from him. I really don't want this guy to pull our teeth out. Great, he left. We urgently need to find a way out of this room. Oh, here's the door. But I think we need a yellow key. Well, let's find him. I didn't notice how he managed to close the door behind him. 
but I think opening the door won't be a problem for us. Well, great. We're out of here, and now let's start going through this obby. We need to jump on these dentures. They remind me of our friend Kane from the amazing Digital Circus. Well, let's now knock on Bob's office so that this door will open. And now we're inside. Okay, let's follow this dental floss across this huge lake. In general, it's very strange that we actually managed to walk along the dental floss, and it didn't break and we didn't fall down. I was just very lucky that I managed to jump over these spikes. Well, let's move on. Traps again? It seems to me very strange that map creators insert traps into absolutely any game. A huge corridor awaits us ahead. Wait, why did it get dark in here? Oh my god, this is some kind of anglerfish jaw with scary teeth that is running after us. Don't stop, Bluey! Oh my god, that weird mouth looks pretty creepy. Is this really the same dentist's pet? Great, the red arrow points us to the exit. This means that now we will escape from this monster. Cool! We got into the ventilation. Well, let's now find a way out of it and see what trials await us next. Why are there such huge fans in dentistry? They are really the size of two people. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's just run across these rusty platforms and finally pass this level. Now we need to climb these stairs and our path is blocked by these platforms with electric current. In general, it's strange that the electric current here is red. It's usually blue. But nevertheless, I have never seen a test in which we have some kind of obstacles on the stairs. This is very unusual. And I really like that the creators of this map added tasks like this to diversify the game. It's a pity that this game doesn't have a timer, and we don't know how fast we are going through this game, because it seems to me that we are going through it quite quickly, and it would be great if we could set a record. Now we will go up this elevator and find ourselves at the next stage of this game. I'm very interested in what new challenges the creators of this game have prepared for us, because here everything really looks different from other obbies. I love it. Well, let's come forward and take a look. Wow, here are platforms that are in lava. Well, I really hope that we can easily pass this test because it looks quite difficult. Bluey, as always, copes with everything on the first try. It seems to me that there is not a single map in Roblox other than the Tower of Hell that could make her tense up a little because it seems to me that she goes through all these levels with one hand. By the way, it's very strange that this cart gets stuck in the middle of the road. I think this is an oversight on the part of the developers. But that stuck cart didn't stop us from getting to the next challenge. There is a corridor with some knights. It's very strange that they don't attack us. Now let's go through this room. You can't step on the platforms here, otherwise these spikes will collapse and crush us. They are all very easy to complete, just like this bridge. We passed bridges that were much more difficult than this one. And now we need to pass a test that is very similar to the energy drink race in Barry's Prison Escape. Wow! They added lava barriers right in the middle of this run! Well, this really makes the game very difficult but I think the race itself was quite short. Well, I hope that in the coming updates, the creators of this map will try a little to make it a little longer. Wow, this has never happened before. There is a huge door with a skull and it needs to be opened using three levers. I think that this skull means that the final boss is waiting for us in this room. Well, let's pull all the levers and go into this room. I think this door is going down pretty slow. Maybe the developers should try a little to make it go down faster. Well, now we will find out what awaits us ahead. Oh, just look. This is the same dentist with creepy teeth. He is very angry with us because we managed to escape from him. Well, let's try to escape from him completely through this corridor with teeth. Oh, no. I don't think we managed to escape from him the first time. Well, this guy was pretty fast for such an old dentist. Let's try to escape from him again, only this time we need to choose a more optimal route. This dentist is really very creepy. It seems to me that he is running after us very quickly. Oh no, he caught us again. I thought this task would be a little easier. Well, I think Bluey will definitely be able to pass this task on the third try. I think we should run along the wall so that I don't waste my movement speed on turns. 
Because of this, this dentist is catching up with us. We can't escape from him. Well, this time we managed to run quite further. Great, we beat this game. It was quite interesting and fun. It's a shame this game was so short. I really like this game because it really had a lot of new challenges that we hadn't seen before. I hope that the creators of this game will make it a little longer. Now let's move on to the next game. Oh, buddy, I think your pose is a little strange. Why are such giant traps needed anyway? To catch elephants? It's very funny that they decided to insert this meme sound into such a creepy game. <coughs> it looks like someone flushed these clowns down the toilet. Well, maybe someday they will end up in radioactive waste and become ninja clowns. You really just retold the plot of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? I see him! He's really running right behind us! He's reached Mom's bedroom. If you like and subscribe to the channel now, I will show you what she does there. Come on, guys. About three, two, one. Bluey, get out of here now. I changed my clothes here. Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will escape from Mr. Crazy's carnival. Was it real that he was just on the screen? Oh my god, this clown is very creepy. Well, now let's go straight into the mouth of this giant clown. I hope there won't be too many jump scares in this game. I'm too old to be scared by all sorts of creepy and screaming clowns. Don't worry, Dad. If you suddenly ruin your panties, I will definitely take them to the dry cleaner. Oh, look, we arrived at the bottom floor and now we need to go forward along this strange corridor. I hope that here we won't meet anyone who could scare Dad. I really don't want him to be scared. Oh, buddy, I think your pose is a little strange for an ordinary clown. Well, okay, the door closed behind us and now we need to overcome this room with traps. Why are such giant traps needed anyway? To catch elephants? I can't imagine what kind of creature would get caught in it. Well, just look at the bridge that awaits us next. Don't you think it's too thin? In this game, the creators really like to play with extremes. Look, a long corridor with blue lasers on the floor awaits us ahead. It seems to me that we have already seen a similar task in an escape from another carnival. Well, anyway, this task is pretty cool. Wait, what? Was that really that sound? Didn't it seem like it to me? It's very funny that they decided to insert this meme sound into such a creepy game. Yes, this slightly changes the atmosphere of this game, but nevertheless, it evokes positive emotions. Well, now you need to swim through this tunnel with water. Let's do this as soon as possible. Oh, here we need to press the button for this passage to open for us. Well, this task is quite interesting especially for people with aquaphobia or claustrophobia. But it doesn't scare me yet, thank God. Let's quickly swim to the surface and see what challenges await us next. Is it just me, or do the mode creators in Roblox just love lava? Otherwise, I don't know how to explain why almost every game has platforms that are in lava. To be honest, I think it's time to come up with something else. By something else, you probably mean acid or some other liquid, or maybe you mean a lake with sharks and swordfish. Lake with sharks? These are not freshwater fish. They live in the seas. They simply won't survive in unsalted water, just like the swordfish. These are exclusively marine and oceanic Pisces. I think piranhas would be perfect here because they usually live in lakes. I think you should stop talking about the different fish and start concentrating on the game. Because we've already passed this test in which we need to make ourselves a tower out of props. And now we're going to the Ferris wheel. This Ferris wheel brought us to some kind of platform. Well, let's walk along these boards and see where they take us. I see a roller coaster ahead. Cool. I just love roller coasters. There are quite a variety of rails here, and I think it will be a very interesting race. This happens quite quickly, but is it just me? Or is the cart shaking slightly? It really seems to jam on every meter of this route. I think there's nothing wrong with that. In any case, this trip is quite exciting and interesting. Oh look, we have already arrived at the end, and now we must reach the end of this obby dungeon. These pipes look unreliable. They are so rusty. Oh, just look. It looks like someone flushed these clowns down the toilet, and now they are forced to live in this sewer. Well, maybe someday they will end up in radioactive waste and become ninja clowns. 
You really just retold the plot of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Okay, it doesn't matter. By the way, look. Now we are waiting for a speed race as if it were a race with energy drinks in Barry's prison escape. It really seems to me that our speed here is quite low. I would like our character to move a little faster. We made it to the end of this run, and pretty quickly. Now let's jump over those lasers and jump into that sewer hatch and find out where we end up next. It looks like we need to follow these tracks and now a clown will be chasing us. Oh look, I see him. He's really running right behind us. Do not stop. The main thing is to escape from him. Under no circumstances should we turn around and need to run along these tracks so that we can escape from him through the exit. He almost caught up with us. I really hope that the exit is very close because it seems to me that he will grab us very soon and we will have to go through this again. Oh, look, here's the way out. Great, we got there. At a certain moment, it really seemed to me that this clown would catch up with us. And now we need to fight against the clowns with fireballs. Just look at these clowns. It seems to me that these are the same mutant clowns that Mom was talking about. It's possible that they really fell into some kind of radioactive sludge and became so strange. Keep shooting, Bluey. You've already killed half of these clowns. The main thing is to kill the clowns that crawl on all fours because they are very fast and they can run to you very quickly and cause you damage. Yes, they really annoy me a little because they are harder to hit due to the fact that they are lower than all the other clowns. Well, I managed to cope with them. Cool, look, this wall has come down. Now let's go on another roller coaster. I wonder where they will take us. I think he should take us to the finish line because the final boss fight just happened. I really, really like this game. She was quite interesting. But this game scared me a little, but nevertheless, it really turned out to be quite interesting. Well, now let's move on to the next game. Is this a pregnant Pomni? How did you even get stuck in this table, buddy? Are you serious? Just look how huge it is. Oh my god, this is also Zubal. Wait, is this Pomni? She's stuck between these two walls and looking down on us. <laughs> Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play Escape from our amazing digital circus. This map is a little different from the previous one we played, but nevertheless, we were told that it would be a little more difficult. Look! There are unusual platforms there. They extend and levitate. I think it will be really more difficult than what we went through earlier. I like that the map creators really experiment and bring something new to the game. It really added a lot of variety to the gameplay. Oh my god, just look! Is this a pregnant Pomni? Why is she so pot-bellied then? She's really very pot-bellied here. Well, I hope because of this she will run after us more slowly and will not catch up with us. I think she can't catching up with us. Oh, looks like it. She not followed us up to the second floor. Well, I think we can easily escape from her. Great, the first boss is behind us. I really hope they didn't make all the bosses so pot-bellied. Otherwise, it would be too weird. Now we need to run to the room with toilets. Let's try to set a record and not open other doors, but just open the one that actually has a tunnel in it. Cool. Let's go through both of these dungeons now. You mean a dungeon with platforms and a tunnel with a rolling boulder? By the way, look! They changed the obby! Here, you need to jump on these platforms and press the button. This is much cooler than a dilapidated bridge and a bridge with some strange liquid. We've almost completed this, Obby, and now we're facing the Rolling Boulder Challenge. This is one of the easiest challenges in this game. But first we need to jump on this garbage that someone threw into the lava. By the way, what is this anyway? It looks like some kind of baskets and server racks. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's just try to quickly get through this tunnel with a Rolling Boulder, and we will meet the boss knight. I'm very interested in who will be the boss of the knight in this mode. Well, now we find out. Last time we played Escape from Digital Circus, this boss was Zubal. Now we will see who will be here. Oh my god, this is also Zubal. And she is also very pot-bellied. Well, she looks very funny. They really look like they're pregnant. I need to hurry up. We've already gone quite far, and it only took us 130 seconds. Now we have a race with energy drinks. Yes, but first, we need to climb the dilapidated steps to the top. I'm really tired of this task. It is always the same and map developers do not change it at all. I would really like to see it changed a little. And here comes the energy drink vending machine. 
Well, I really love this obby with energy drinks because everything happens so fast here. This is very cool. I wish the entire mode could be completed at that speed. Wait, is this Pomni? She's stuck between these two walls and looking down on us. It looks very creepy. Yes, yeah, she does look quite creepy. Like she can't get out of this trap. And now we have a race with energy drinks ahead of us. This is also one of the easiest tasks in this mode. We have never managed to lose on it. I think I can easily pass this test. I have passed this test many times already and have never failed. I really want to set a record this time. So far, we're doing pretty well. And now we are waiting for those same tedious tests with valves that infuriate us so much. It would be great if they changed this task at least a little. Well, now we'll check it. Let's quickly make our way through these pipes to the very top and see what awaits us there. I would really like this assignment to be changed a little because these pipes are constantly located in the same place. It seems to me that I can complete this task even with my eyes closed. Oh, just look. They even added levitating cubes here. Well, it really diversified this game a little, like these pipes instead of the platforms that were here before. Well, that was pretty easy, but very boring. Now let's quickly go to the race with the fans. This is also one of my favorite obbies in this game, because here we also have to run pretty fast. Yes, I completely agree with you. It's really a lot of fun and one of the most interesting challenges in this game. Now we need to be as concentrated as possible because we are really coping with this game very quickly and we can set a record in it. Yes, it also seems to me that we are coping with this game quite quickly because only 295 seconds have passed and we are already in a location where we need to run with fans. I really like the pace at which we cope with all these tasks. Well, I've almost completed this race. And now I will need to complete a task in which I need to jump in a wind tunnel. We finally got to the cafeteria. Wait, is this Kaufmo? I was hoping to see anyone here, but not him. It is very funny. Wait, is it stuck in the table? Oh my god. Kaufmo, you are as useless as always. How did you even get stuck in this table, buddy? Are you serious? Come on, maybe you can at least try to run after us a little. It finally happened! Well, I thought that he would stand on this table forever. In any case, we will kill him pretty quickly because this is one of the easiest bosses in the game. Well, let's move forward. We have very little time left before meeting the final boss. I also think that we need to speed up a little because we are very close to setting a new record. Now we will find ourselves in a wind tunnel with lasers, and after that we will need to go to the location where there is a task with bridges. Well, there are only two simple steps left before meeting the final boss. And we have almost passed this tunnel with lasers. Just a little left. This task is also quite easy, but it is not the easiest in this game because several times we managed to die by touching the lasers. And here is the task with bridges. Wait, did they remove the need to install bridges here and just leave platforms? Okay, this will be pretty easy. Let's jump over them and go to the final boss. And here comes the final boss robot cane. Just look how huge it is. It seems to me that this is the biggest boss you've ever seen. Yes, it also seems to me that this is the biggest boss in all the Barry prison escapes. This boss doesn't need to shoot off his arms, just shoot him in the body. But it's very strange that he doesn't even try to shoot at us, but just runs after us. Nevertheless, we dealt with it very easily. Now let's move on to the next game. I see our first victim. Our main goal is to make it fall down. Great, we managed to do it. Bye bye, buddy. I think she's starting to get really angry with us. I think she is really very unhappy with what we did. <laughs> Hello everyone, friends, and today we will go through Bluey Obby. Seriously? Someone finally made Roblox mode with us? It's great, I really hope we actually see Bluey at the end. I hope this obby won't be too difficult, and we can complete it without dying even once. There are 130 stages here. That's a lot. I think we will be playing this game for a very long time. I think the ending is really worth it. Let's climb this spiral staircase and find out what's ahead. This spiral staircase is so rainbow. Oh, look, here comes the next checkpoint. What? Let's jump on these platforms now. I'm very interested in what awaits us at the end of this game. 
It would be very cool if there were some boosts with which we could prevent other players from completing this game. Yes. I remember we already interfered with other players in passing other Abby. It would be very funny, but I really hope that at the end of this, Abby, we will be given the opportunity to see Bluey in this game. In general, I'm sure that Bluey will be able to completely go through this entire obby today because Bluey goes through all the obby very skillfully. She's a real pro at playing these games. Don't worry, Mom. This obby is very light. It seems to me that we played games that were much more difficult than this. Here, I don't even have to work very hard to complete all these tasks. But there are really a lot of tasks here, and I hope that we will be very well rewarded for completing this game completely. Complete the game completely? I think you're already starting to talk a little. Come on, you just concentrate on completing this map? I'm very interested to see what awaits us at the end. We've already gone through 39 stages of this game and Bluey still hasn't died once. This is really very cool. It seems to me that for her this map is not a test but the most ordinary walk. Well done, Bluey. Keep it up. I am sometimes surprised by the skill with which she goes through all these tests. I have a feeling that if there was an eSports discipline on Roblox, Bluey would definitely take leading places in all tournaments. I also really wanted there to be Roblox tournaments. It seems to me that if there was an obby competition, I could win it. It would be very cool if I could still complete the Tower of Hell. I think this is the most difficult obby in the world. If this video gets 500 likes, we will definitely make a video of us passing the Tower of Hell. Our subscribers have already asked us to play this game, but so far we are very afraid to do this because it seems to us that we are not yet ready to go through such difficult games. I have never played this map because you say it seems to me that it is insanely difficult. I'm really scared to play it. Maybe someday I'll try to do this, but now I'm sure that I won't be able to pass even the first test there. I think we shouldn't be afraid, and we definitely need to try to do this. By the way, look, we've almost completed 65 stages, and that's almost half the game. I'm so glad Bluey gets over it so quickly. This means that today, we will definitely see the ending of this game. I'm very motivated because I want to see how I was made at the end of this game. It would be very cool if you really had an NPC there who could talk like me and run and jump. Imagine how great it would be if they added our whole family there. In general, I really want someone to finally make a map with us, like Barry's prison escape or a cart ride. Unfortunately, there are very few modes with us in Roblox. I think this definitely needs to be fixed. Maybe we will make this mode ourselves, and our subscribers will definitely play it. Guys, write in the comments, would you play Prison Escape Bluey and Bingo? I think our subscribers would definitely want to play such a game. What can I say? I myself would love to play something like this. Just imagine how cool it is when you see yourself in the game. Because of this, I'm a little jealous of our friends from the Amazing Digital Circus because they have already made a lot of modes in Roblox. There is both role play and escape from the Amazing Digital Circus which we have already played. They even have their own obi and cart ride. This is very cool. I also want the same regimes to be with us. It would be amazing. I completely agree with you, Bluey, but someday we will definitely wait for this. For now, let's concentrate on beating this game we're playing now. By the way, we have already passed 90 stages and it seems to me that in the distance, I see the finishing location. I can't wait to get to the finish line and see one of us there. I'm very interested in what will happen at the end, but even if our characters are not there, I will still be very glad if they give us boosts with which we will prevent other players from passing Obby. I think it will be very funny and fun. I remember how we did this last time, and it was the most fun part of the game. I hope that there will also be some very interesting boosts with which we can really complicate the passage of this game for other players. I really want someone to really start getting angry at us and write to us so that we stop doing this because these emotions make me happy. Maybe it seems a little cruel, but I think that if we spent so much effort on completely completing this map, then we deserve the opportunity to prank other players. I completely agree with you, Bluey. Ultimately, we are still adding some real hardcore to this very easy game. 
Maybe other players will like it too and will really appreciate our attempt to make this game a little more interesting. We only have 10 stages left to go before we see the finish. Bluey really goes through this very quickly. What a pity that this game does not have a leaderboard. I think we could definitely become the number one leader in the speed of completion of this game. Yeah, this makes me pretty sad too. But nevertheless, we know that in fact, we are the leaders and that's enough. Our subscribers also know about this. And I really hope that someone will add us as friends on Roblox and invite us to compete in completing Obi. I would really like to try to make a video with our subscriber. I think this is a very good idea. Guys, write your nickname in Roblox and we will definitely add you as a friend so we can make a joint video with you. We are looking forward to your comments. We finally completed all the stages. Well, now let's climb these stairs and find out what's there at the end. It seems to me that this guy doesn't look very much like Bluey, but here they give us a lot of boosts. Well, let's take all the boosts we can get and go stop other players from completing this game. I think it will be a lot of fun. I see our first victim. Let's fly up to her and start barricading her path so that she can't complete the last task normally. Just look at this guy. He is very purposeful and we can't stop him. He really gets ahead and overtakes us. Well, this is very cool and this guy is really great. He is trying very hard to complete this map to the end. I see another goal for us. Well, here we can definitely barricade the passage for her so that it will really be difficult for her to complete this game. Moreover, our past barricades still remain here, which will also interfere with her. Great! I think we can do it! Our main goal is to make it fall down. Great! We managed to do it! Bye-bye, buddy. Now we need to return to her spawn point and continue to disturb her. I think she's starting to get really angry with us. Just look. I think she is really very unhappy with what we did. Well, I'm sorry, but I think it's much more fun this way. It seems to me that she stopped to write some very angry message for us. Well, this is a great opportunity for us to completely close the passage for her. Well, I think we should let her beat this game. I really like this obby because here we were given the opportunity to interfere with other players. It's really sad that we don't get to see Bluey here, but I think there's nothing wrong with that. Now let's move on to the next game. This guy really scared me. He runs so creepy. Look, this is the same test that was in the series, the squid game. Bye-bye, stupid doll. Just look, this is a huge robot coming towards us. Oh, no. This is the same doll. This spider doll really looks very creepy. <laughs> Hello, everyone, friends. Today we will run away from Mr. Funny's toy shop. This is a staff room only. It's good that we work in this store. It's pretty dark in here. Let's use our flashlight so we can see what the problem is. Our character heard some steps. <laughs> I hope no one scares us in this room. It looks like we can be calm and move on. Oh, our huge toy has disappeared from the hall. Well, let's go look for him. We opened the door that we couldn't get into in the first place. Well. Let's go there and try to find the toy that is missing. Looks like someone forgot to close the valves and now steam is coming out of the wall. You need to be as careful as possible. Look, there's some kind of thin pipe here. We need to get through it and press the lever to open platforms that will help us come further. We passed this test, now let's move on. We need to climb this ladder to the top and what awaits us ahead? It says that this is the number one fun game. The lights went out again. I don't think this is a very good sign. Well, some kind of labyrinth or something like that awaits us ahead. Let's try to find a way out of this maze as quickly as possible. I hope no one jumps out from around the corner and scares us. Oh my god, it's the same doll. She's running right behind us. Bluey, don't stop. Just run forward and don't be distracted by him. We need to find a way out of this huge labyrinth. This guy really scared me. He runs so creepy. Oh, look. I see red arrows. They point to the exit. Great! We found a way out of this maze! Bye-bye, stupid doll! Now we need to pass another test. Let's see what awaits us ahead. There are some stairs and platforms that we need to jump on. Okay, let's climb to the very top. It seems to me that if we just completed game number one, then there will be other interesting games. On the door at the end of the test, it says fun game two. Well, let's go in and see what kind of game awaits us. Look. This is the same test that was in the series, the Squid Game. 
You need to go here only when this doll is turned away from you. Well, I think we can handle this easily enough. The main thing is not to move when the light turns red. We just have to wait until he returns from us again. Great! We were able to do it again. Cool. This task was really interesting. I have never seen such tasks in any game where you need to run away from someone. I really like this task. Let's move on to the next room now. There are some lasers here that we need to jump over. Looks like we accidentally hit one of the lasers. It's good that this laser did not cause fatal damage to us, but removed half of our HP. Now we've reached the elevator, and let's go up. I think the funny game three is somewhere nearby. Here's a fun game of three. Well, I'm very interested in what kind of tests await us. We have to wait for the next game to start. Let's wait and go inside. Okay, now we can go inside. We need to find a safe place. There are several towers made of cubes. Well, let's try to climb one of these towers. Perhaps we can find a safe place there. We only have five seconds left. We need to survive for 40 seconds. Just look, this is a huge robot coming towards us. Oh my god, what is he doing? He's destroying those towers of blocks. Well, he does it quite slowly. I think surviving for 40 seconds here will be a pretty easy task. Let's wait until he destroys this fortress of cubes and hide in the next one. It seems to me that this guy is just wasting his time trying to break these fortresses because we can move from one fortress to another at any moment convenient for us. Only 10 seconds left. Come on, Bluey. Just hide behind those brick towers. This guy is trying really hard to run to you, but these cubes are constantly getting in his way. Great! We managed to do it. Now, let's go to the exit. I wonder how many games there are in total. So far, we've managed three games without any difficulties. Wow, is this going downhill? He's quite interesting. It has an unusual shape. We're going down a spiral. Well, now we find ourselves in some dark room. It looks like some kind of warehouse. Let's get through it. I hope no one attacks us in this warehouse. There are some shelves with boxes here. Wait, why is it dark around? Oh no, this is the same doll. He turned off the lights to kill us here. We urgently need to find a way out of here. Oh look, there are red arrows. We need to run there. There is definitely an exit from this location. Let's quickly go to this envelope tape. I see a ladder. We need to climb it. Let's see what's at the top. It's a loader. But what should we do with it? Wait! Are we going to go through this track on a loader now? Oh my god, this is very cool. We are jumping over a huge abyss with lava on a loader. I've always dreamed of doing this. This is very cool. I love it. Well, let's drive this route. I hope we can get through everything the first time. It is not as easy as it might seem at first glance. There are a lot of turns and jumps on it. The main thing is to press the jump button in time so as not to fall into this abyss. Yes, this route is really quite long. It seems to me that we have never played anything like this before. Of course, in the escapes from various prisons, there were cars or something like that, but we have never had to drive along long routes in a forklift. Great, here's the finish. Well, let's get out of this forklift and up these stairs. It seems to me that at the end of this ladder, the next game number four awaits us. Oh, this reminds me of the Mario game. Well, let's climb into this pipe. Wow, we ended up on some blue platforms. Well, it seems to me that we need to choose the most successful platform and stand on it while the other platforms fall down. Well, it seems to me that we have chosen the most successful platform of all. This is great. We are really very lucky that our platform is not falling down. We are really very lucky. Well, we managed to beat this game with ease. Now let's go where the green arrow shows us. Wow, this is the exit door. Let's see what awaits us behind it. I see some kind of train. Are we really going to take this train to the exit from this location? This is very cool. Hooray, I'm very glad that we're getting through this game pretty quickly. The train has started moving. Well, let's see where it takes us. Oh, I think we got out. Wait, is this some kind of huge slide? I wonder what's at the end of this slide. I hope that the train will not derail and we will reach our destination. I also hope that the end of this game awaits us at the top of this mountain. Oh no, wait, I think the rails are collapsing. Oh no, we drove off the rails and now the train is collapsing and falling into some kind of giant tunnel. This is really very creepy. It's great that we managed to survive. 
And now we're heading to the final game. I think that in the final game, the final boss awaits us. Yes, just look, it's a spider robot. Well, let's go down and start fighting him. I hope he doesn't kill us. This spider doll really looks very creepy. Just look how terribly he moves his paws. Each paw has its own HP bar. Well, I think we need to shoot specific paws in order to slow down its movement. This boss actually decreases HP very slowly. We might have to kill him for a really long time. We were able to break one of his paws. This is very cool. Now let's shoot the next one. I think if we can destroy two of his paws, he will not be able to move normally and will begin to lose his balance. He shoots very creepily from his eyes right at us. By the way, there are also purple puddles here that you definitely can't step into because they cause damage to us. Wait, we broke two of his paws. Why does he keep running like he still has all four limbs? I think this is wrong. I wonder if he will continue to run if we break all four of his legs. I think we need to continue shooting at the next paw to find out if this somehow affects its movement. I don't think he even slowed down after losing two of his four legs. This guy is really quite strange. Great! We defeated him! It was quite difficult because it took quite a lot of shots to defeat him. It's good that we managed to cope with this. I really like this game. It's quite complex and creepy. Games like this are rare on Roblox. I completely agree with you. I also really like this game because it has a lot of innovations that were not present in previous games. Now let's move on to the next game.